We ended up at uh, West Cochise Stronghold. It wasn't our first pick for a campsite, uh, but evidently end of February is pretty popular out here and all the dispersed sites were taken. So we just kept on trucking and we're not upset because we ended up in a beautiful spot. Let me show you. And I mean, absolutely splendid place to camp. We're sheltered by trees. Got beautiful scenery all around us. Just a little short walk down the trail. 
from my camper. And we are blessed with that. Holy cow. Stunning. So today's actually Sunday. We got here Friday night. Set up the camper. I will tell you that uh, first time setting this up with the room annex was extremely challenging. We got here about 4.30. I don't think I got done setting up till about 6.30 and the light was going, sun was going down. It wasn't fun. It wasn't fun, uh, but uh, I think we learned a lot of lessons. I think we know better how to set this thing up. And then each each time we, we do this, it should get a little bit easier. Now let me show you our campsite. So we're kind of in the middle of starting to break down. A couple of things have already been taken down. You can see the room annex here. Obviously we set up on a little bit of a hill. I had to put that right tire on a rock and then the room annex ended up going uphill. But the, but the camper itself is absolutely level. That little grate right there, that's supposed to be a drying rack and it's a bigger pain than it's worth. We're leaving that home next time. Um, I took one of our two propane bottles out for our buddy heater. Turns out that the other tank I think is empty, so we didn't have gas to cook on. It is what it is. Those those mount up in there. Obviously, once I'm set up, I can't get up in there to replace bottles. Room annex. And Ruby's a little upset that she's tied up, but she's a big pain in the butt. And uh, we need all hands on deck to get this thing to taken down and put up, as it turns out. And uh, we weren't really prepared. To have to entertain the dog at the same time. So Carmen's in there putting stuff away. That's uh, that's pretty much it. This room annex, <coughs> excuse me, it's got a hundred thousand poles holding it up, and there's definitely a technique to it, and you know, we just haven't perfected that technique yet. But I think uh, next time it's gonna go a lot smoother. So up inside the camper, it's really dark in here with all the windows closed. Here we got our buddy heater, that's where we ran it. Um, of course we got some built-in lighting, which is really, really handy. But uh, I gotta put the sleeping bags in their appropriate packaging, pack up the bedding, get the straps on the bed. Then uh, we can start really getting this thing packed up. So, getting ready, like I said, we're getting ready to pack up, so I just wanted to go through some of this stuff before we got too far along. In here, this is normally where you could put a refrigerator. Um, I have a refrigerator in my Jeep, so I don't really foresee having to put a fridge here, so we use that for storage. Um, this uh, particular compartment here, sorry it's so dark in here, but all the windows are closed. We use this for our pantry. Haven't quite finalized how we're going to do all of that yet. So, stairs. Then over here we have the kitchen area. It's the water hookup. Gas is on the back side and it goes underneath the camper and clips into our quick connect for our three burner stove, which is over here. Um, we got to pack up this stuff. Had to do our the essentials with the coffee. At least we had a backup plan for that, so we didn't have to worry about uh, using the three burner stove, which isn't working because I think I'm out of gas. Use a French press. This is actually really, really nice. This is a Stanley French press. It's super simple. It makes the best coffee, honest to God. A silverware drawer. Pots and pans and dishes and such. And this is just an access port to get up underneath so you can pack up things nice and tidy. So that's pretty much that. You gotta get to work. Talk to you later.